Hello, welcome to this edition of News Desk. Today we'll be taking you to Pram Pram, where the president is commissioning phase one of the B5 Plus Limited. We'll take you there live now for that program. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Ghana, our friends and loved ones who've crossed the miles by air and by road to be here with us, heads of the security services, industry collaborators, clients, our friends from the media, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, and great people of Ghana. It gives me the great pleasure to welcome you here this morning to the B5 Plus Steel Factory where today we will be part of the historic opening of what is, by fact, the biggest steel factory in the whole of the West African sub-region. Of course, this has happened through the instrumentality and the creativity of the government led by His Excellency Nana Adodankwa Ikufuado under the One District, One Factory Initiative, and of course, great collaboration from the private sector. Before we go ahead and do anything extra, I believe that our gathering here is the doing of the good Lord. It is in that regard that I wish to welcome up here to the microphone, Daniel Osei Danso, to help us with a word of prayer. And as he makes his way here, please welcome him with a round of applause. If we can, let us kindly rise up for a word of prayer. Our Heavenly Father, Almighty Jehovah, we thank you this morning. It is a great day that you have made so that we will rejoice in it. We thank you for the life of the President, His Excellency Nana Adodankwa Akofu Ado the life of the ministers of state, the life of the honorable members of parliament, and all protocols gathered here. We also thank you for the life of our director, Mr. Mike Mukesh Takwani. We thank you for blessing us with a wonderful morning. Today, we are here to commission this great factory we thank you for giving us leaders who make decisions that favors the people of Ghana positively. That is one of the reasons why we are here this morning. We commit today into your hands. Without you, we cannot do anything. We pray that as we come before you, you will guide us through this morning so that everything that has been planned will go on successfully. We want to look back today, a year on, to be able to say or to be able to see that this factory has grown from strength to strength to become one of the largest factories in the world. We pray committing our director who directs every activity here into your hands. We know that he has a good heart and he wants to help people open opportunities for people. We pray that you continue to bless him 
and bless everybody who is gathered here this morning. We continue to seek your guidance for His Excellency, Nana Adudankwa Akufuado, to continue to lead this nation for us to be, to continue to stand tall in the whole of Africa and the world. We pray that you continue to bless B5+, Plus, you continue to bless DPS International Ghana, and you continue to bless Ghana, you continue to bless our leaders and His Excellency Nana Adodankwa Akufuado, and you continue to bless the whole, the people of Ghana as well. We seek this humbly in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The meaning of the word amen is let everything that has been said come true. So shall we say another amen? Please put your hands together for him, ladies and gentlemen. Your Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, by way of introduction, my name is Nathaniel Atto. I'll be your master of ceremonies for today. And it is my hope that together we will give this the color and the importance that it deserves within the development agenda of our beloved nation, Ghana. I'd like to remind all of you as well that this event is running live on the Joy News channel, which is also on channel 421 on DSTV and 144 on GoTV. At this time, I'd like to, with craving indulgence from His Excellency, give him an idea of some of his officers who have come to support this, as well as some of our friends from corporate Ghana who are here with us. And I'll begin from the days. To your right and to my extreme left is Mr. Doku, who is the, the district chief executive. Shall we put our hands together for him? Seated next to him is the member of parliament for the Ningo Pram Pram constituency, Honorable Sam Nate George. We'd also like to say a very big thank you to our friends from the Association of Ghana Industries who are ably represented here by their Greater Accra Chairman, Chonam Klens Akelu. Your Excellency, I duly also acknowledge the presence of the Indian High Commissioner to Ghana, His Excellency Sugand Rajaram. I'll skip and go to the other side of Your Excellency, and I'd like to acknowledge the presence of the sector minister who has been with us from the very word go, ensuring that what is required to be done on the part of policy has been done. And I'm very sure that just like all of us, he is very, very proud as well. Honorable Alan Kwejutre Mating is the Minister for Trade and Industry. Seated next to him, is the Greater Accra Regional Minister. Shall we put our hands together for Honorable Henry Quarte? I'd like to duly acknowledge the head of the Ghana Investment Promotion Council who has done a great job in the last business year. In fact, through his instrumentality and hard work and great collaboration with other government agencies, he's been able to rake in $2.56 billion of investment, even in the thick of COVID. Ladies and gentlemen, Yofi Grant. I'd also like to duly acknowledge the presence of Madam Efua Asabia Asari, who's in charge of the Ghana Export Promotion Council. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, B5 Plus is a business conglomerate that has massive interests in education. One of the best educational institutions in this country is under the arm of B5 Plus. Other two that, ladies and gentlemen, is the main social responsibility arm, which is the B5 Plus Care Foundation. Over the years, they've made some very big interventions in social services in our country. And at this time, I'd like to welcome Mr. Vishal Fakwani to help us to have a great idea. Shall we welcome him with a big round of applause? Ooh. 
We make a life by what we give. Good morning, His Excellency. Nano Ado Dankwa Akufoado, President of the Republic of Ghana. His Excellency Sugand Raja Ram, Indian Ambassador to Ghana, Honorable Minister for Trade, Alan Chermantin, and the Accra Regional Minister, Harry Kwate. All dignitaries invited, captains of industries, all media houses and guests, I extend my warm welcome to you. I am Vishal Mukesh Takwani, an ex-student of DPS International Ghana, currently studying at Imperial College of London. And it's an extreme honor for me today to speak on behalf of the fraternity of the B5 Plus Care Foundation. And it is with an immense feeling of satisfaction that I'm proud to shed some light on our Care Foundation. As they say, a bit of fragrance always clings to the hand that gives you roses. We at the Care Foundation have gladly made it a mantra to always be cheerful and optimistic whilst daring to go the extra miles and shatter all the barriers to be the catalyst for change. And not just any change, my friends, a change the world would admire, look up to, model their values and philosophies from, a change which would leave the giver feel so esteemed that it makes the act feel as if it was in his self-interest and which if you think is so true, and that just makes us feel more blessed and fortunate to be associated with such good works. Strong values and a sense of higher purpose are the lifeblood of charities. So we at the Care Foundation have made it our mission to brighten up people's lives and make the recipients independent of it at the end. One of our ideologies is to bring real and effective solutions to the problems faced among the underprivileged, the disabled, and those we can get any sort of help across to. From free medical blood donation camps, free health checkup campaigns, contributing monetarily to the construction of the police station in Caen, supporting students, supporting hospitals with medicine and medicinal equipments, supporting social events and festivals, the list just goes on. And all of these, all of these, just happen to be merely a product of our values and beliefs. And I would even like to conclude with my favorite one of them. Omamuo Inshira Sine Ojiye, which basically translates to, there is more blessing in giving than receiving. Omampeni Yepewasem. Medamo Asena Nyamin Shiramunina. Thank you again. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, shall we do a big round of applause for him? It's very evident that in a few months to come, his tree will be impeccable. <laughs> Once again, we'd like to send massive greetings on behalf of His Excellency the President to all of our lovely people of Ghana and elsewhere who are watching us live on the Joy News channel and on channel 421 on DSTV as well as 144 on GoTV for this historic commissioning of the B5 Plus steel factory, the biggest on the west coast of Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now my pleasure to bring here a visionary who years ago came to this piece of land massive piece of land and saw a lot of dust and a lot of bush but in his eyes he saw something that could help in the development agenda of our nation years on with a lot of sweat toil determination and strong will we see here the establishment that is going to add a great deal to the many efforts that government is making to ensure that our people are part of a boosted economy and also that generally it comes to help the area in which it is situated in the geographical region of Ghana. He has loads of experience in a minimum of three decades at his fingertips when it comes to business operations here on the African continent. But of course, this place is home and now he eats, breathes, and drinks Ghana and its development agenda. 
Distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, with a big round of applause, please help me welcome Mr. Mike Mukesh Thakwani, chairman of B5 Plus. His Excellency Nana Ado Danko Akufado, President of the Republic of Ghana, His Excellency Mr. Suganda Rajaram, High Commissioner of India to Ghana, Honorable Alan John Chamante, Minister of Trade and Industry, Accra Regional Minister, Honorable Hani Kwate, Members of Parliament, Ningo Pram Pram, Honorable Sam Nate George, GIPC CEO Mr. Yofi Grant, 1D1F team, traditional chiefs, members of diplomatic corps, AGI members, EPA members, captains of industries, friends from media, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. It gives me immense pleasure standing on this platform welcoming you all on this great day of the grand opening of the B5 Plus steel plant. Just two decades ago, Ghana was importing its major steel products from all over the globe, including its neighboring countries like Togo and Ivory Coast. But today, we are very proud to say that B5 Plus produces not only for the Ghanaian market, but it has also become a net exporter to all the 16 West African countries. Moreover, we are more than that delighted to share with you all that B5 Plus now directly and indirectly supports and employs over 15,000 people. We have more than We have more than 1,000 distributors across Ghana, making it biggest distribution network of steel. And with branches in major regions, we get quality goods at competitive rates to the doorstep of every Ghanaian. Currently, B5 Plus is a AA rated company and in the process of getting ISO certification. We have become a one-stop shop for iron and steel with a huge product base like galvanized mesh, wire mesh, roofing sheets, nails, binding wire, steel plates, angle irons, u channels z purlins, C-purlins, square pipes, round pipes, square pipes, anything you name it, we have it in steel. We have won many national and international awards for our quality and services. We are also a member of Ghana Club 100. From AGI, we have won Company of the Year Award, CSR Company of the Year, Manufacturing Company of the Year, and many more awards. We are grateful to His Excellency for moving Ghana on the path of becoming a self-reliant nation. Your distinct vision to introduce the 1D1F has given us a big boost for industrialization and job employment, which brings us closer to the Made in Ghana dream. Currently, we have set up West Africa's biggest fabrication plant, the third biggest in Africa. We serve not only the Ghanaian market, but also the West African market. We can provide trailers, tankers, industrial sheets, residential buildings, malls, mining construction, oil and gas companies, and structures related to the fabrication industry. We are proud to say that whichever structure you see today on this land is 100% made in Ghana from the fabrication to the civil. It has all done in a record time of just two and a half years time with continuous training session for workers to upgrade their technical skills. I'm very proud to reiterate that we are capable of serving not only Ghana, but the whole West African market. We are very proud to say that Within this small short span of time, we have already exported to countries like Guinea, Mali, Ivory Coast, Burkina Faso, and Senegal from our fabrication plant in Ghana, proudly made in Ghana. We have a competent architecture, engineering, fabrication, and erection team that produces wall call structures at a low prices and more importantly, on a record time delivery. Today, the steel plant creates approximately 2,000 jobs directly and indirectly with a first phase initial investment of $80 million and an installed production capacity of 250,000 tons per annum, which includes the manufacturing of iron rods, wire rods, round bars. The second phase, which includes an investment of additional $70 million with an installed capacity of 300,000 tons of mixed steel products. Your Excellency, we are grateful for your guidance and encouragement under the 1D1F, but we would like to shed a light on a couple of challenges we are currently facing, such as land acquisitions, water supply, electricity supply, access routes, and traffic congestion on the Tema Flower route. Most importantly, we request the government to impose an across-the-board ban on certain finished imported products, like our dear neighbors Nigeria, Gabon, and Ivory Coast have already done. Else, it possesses a major threat to our industry and will affect our operations. 
we are able to produce these products locally in excess quantities and can not only serve the Ghana market, but its neighboring countries too. BFAP Plus believes in giving back to the society. One of the ways it does is that is through education, which is close to our heart. We are proud to say that we are the promoters of the DPSI school in Community 25, and we have won many national and international awards. In fact, as we speak, we are the A-level school of the year, and we strongly believe we don't inherit the earth from our ancestors. Rather, we borrow it from our beloved children. I would like to say a special thanks to my dear father, who is sitting in heaven and looking at us. He taught me the art of giving. My dear father, thank you very much for all the lessons you have given me. I'm sure today BFA Plus will move on from stone to stone to create more contribution into the society. During the COVID pandemic, BFA Plus has contributed a variety of government and non-governmental organizations like offering 10,000 food boxes to local families in the surrounding communities. BFA Plus also began providing free oxygen to both government and non-governmental hospitals since March 2020. We are proud to share that 40,000 oxygen cylinders have been refilled for free for our oxygen plant, which would tune up to a commercial value of approximately 3.6 million Ghana cities. We place to battle COVID together for till it lasts, but until then, BFAP Plus shall continue to provide free oxygen for all government and private hospitals. We would like to express our gratitude to the Mineral Commission and Chamber of Mines for their continuous support, as well as to our lead bankers, Stanchart Bank, EcoBank, APSA, and UBA. We are also indebted to our, indebted to our security agencies, Ghana Army, the Ghana Police, the Ghana Navy, Ghana Immigration Services, Ghana Revenue Authority, and the Customs for their continuous support. Most importantly, we appreciate the continued patronage of our clients, traders, fabricators, oil and gas companies, construction companies, shipping and mining companies, and at the end, end users. We are also grateful to ECG for their ongoing support, as well as to VRA and Gridco for finding future solutions to a reliable and consistent power supply. As I'm concluding my speech, I would like to give a special thanks to my loving and caring mom, my dear wife, Tanya, and my dear sons, Vishal and Raj. Last but not the least, our workers and team. Without them, I will not be standing here. God bless our motherland, Ghana, for allowing us to contribute in our little, humble way to make the Made in Ghana dream come true. Thank you very much, His Excellency, again for this opportunity, and thank you very much, my dear friends. God bless you all. We are grateful to you, Mr. Mike Mukesh Takwani, the Executive Chairman of B5+. Plus. Your Excellency, Excellencies here gathered, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, as we build up to the official commissioning of this very big factory, I'd like to duly acknowledge a few more of our special guests who are joining us here. Before that as well, I'd like to pay my maximum respects to the President of the Ningo, the Acting President of the Ningo Traditional Council and the Mankalo. Nene Kano Atiapa the third. Thank you very much, Nene, and all the other traditional rulers who are supporting you here. I also duly acknowledge the presence of Mr. Akin Oguranti, who is the managing director of Zenith Bank. We're also joined here by a key collaborator in the delivery of steel and its related products. Professor Alex Dodu is the Director General of the Ghana Standards Authority. Thank you very much, sir, for being here with us. I also like to acknowledge one fine gentleman who's taking art to the rest of the world through the Ghana flag. In fact, before His Excellency's declaration of the year of return, he had stood on an international musical stage after picking up an award and invited the whole world to Ghana. Multiple award-winning act from Ghana. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Sarkodie is also here with us. It's now my pleasure, Your Excellency, distinguished guests, and our good friends and loved ones, to bring here to the microphone the sitting member of parliament for the Ningo Pram Pram constituency. He has a message of goodwill to share with us. Honorable Sam. Nate George. Please welcome him with applause.
Your Excellency, President Nanado Dankwa Kufuado, President of the Republic of Ghana, the Ambassador or the High Commissioner of India to Ghana, the Honorable Minister for Trade and Industry, the Honorable Regional Minister, the District Chief Executive and all dignitaries here guarded, Nenekano Atiapa III, my uncle and Mankralo, an acting president of the Ningo Traditional Council, the Queen Mother of Ningo Traditional Council, Nana Dubakwo, the Chief of Dawa, and the chief on whose land we are, Nene Kweate Lakpleku, the chief of Lakpleku, and all invited dignitaries here in Garda. I welcome you to Ningo and Lakpleku to be specific. Today we host all of you in our beautiful holy city of Ningo as Mr. Mukesh Takwani commissions the first phase of his $80 million factory. Mr. President, even as we welcome you here, I will want to highlight some of the challenges that industry is facing because Ningo Pram Pram is actually the fastest growing industrial enclave in the whole of Ghana. Every industry wants to be in Ningo Pram Pram, maybe because Sam George is the MP. But one of the major issues that they have, Mr. President, is the land tenure system. This project delayed for over two years because of land litigation. Someone else who did not have the faith in Ghana would have walked away from this investment and this country with this investment. Thanks to Nene Kweate Lakleku, who intervened in making sure that this project came on. Today we are here to commission this. And the importance of having a proper land tenure system is that it makes it attractive for investors to come into our country. I plead with His Excellency to intervene in the land tenure system, especially in this part of the country, to ensure that investors don't have to buy the same land two times, three times, and face all kinds of litigation. Another issue that I would like to draw the attention of His Excellency, the President, to is the challenge of power and water, utilities. This factory, as we speak, employs 1,600 of my constituents, 1,600 of them, in this factory. However, this factory is only producing at 40% of its capacity. 40% of its capacity because ECG, Gridco, and VRA are unable to give them the amount of power that they need to produce. Mr. President, B5 pays on average 5 million Ghana cities every month to ECG as electricity charges. Imagine them producing at 100% capa capacity. They would employ about 4,000 of my constituents, and that would mean more votes for me in the next election. And so, Mr. President, please intervene and let us have power, because that would also mean more money for ECG. It would, it would be instructive to note that Ghana Water does not have any lines in this enclave. And so for all of the industrial production that B5 does here, they have to buy the water that they are using in tankers and come and produce. Because Ghana Water has no lines here. If Ghana Water gets some capital investment from government to lay the pipes here, B5 and other factories that want to come in here will pay for the water and that will repay whatever facility would be used by Ghana Water to invest in here. Mr. President, the traffic on the road, my constituents complain about it and it affects businesses that are coming in here. I know that your government has done some work in securing a facility. We want to see the actualization of that project quickly and on time. And let me use this opportunity to extend my profound gratitude on behalf of my constituents to B5 for their support during COVID. B5, in conjunction with my district chief executive, distributed over 1,000 food packs to the most critically needed constituents during COVID. Because Ningo Pram Pram was not part of the national intervention in terms of food support, B5 stepped in and filled that gap. B5 stepped in when I made a call to them to supply us over 60,000 gallons of water when water was not coming to the community during COVID. This is the kind of corporate social responsibility we're looking forward to. However, Mr. Takwani, you need to build us a hospital and a police station in Ningo so that then we know that we can give you a proper Ningo name. I'll go to the traditional council and maybe we'll call him Nate Kwambla after my name because I'm also Nate Kwambla. With these few words, I welcome all of you to the holy cities of Ningo and Pram Pram and urge you to bring more business in here because we are friendly people. Thank you very much. We're grateful to you, Honorable Sam Nate George, Member of Parliament for the Ningo Pram Pram constituency. 
which is the constituency housing this project. Very soon, as I mentioned earlier, His Excellency will symbolically cut tape to open this big edifice. Ahead of that, we will take a listen to a few more industry-specific collaborators. I'd also like to acknowledge here the presence of the president of the Millennium Excellence Foundation, Ambassador Ashim Morton. Thank you very much for being here, sir. The MD and CEO of UBA, United Bank for Africa, Sir Ole Khan Balagun, is also here with us. Thank you very much for joining us. And at this time, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome up here to the microphone the Minister for Trade and Industry, who has been a very big pillar of support in the rollout of this project under the One District, One Factory initiative. Shall we welcome him with applause? Mr. President, my colleague, the Greater Accra Regional Minister, the Indian High Commissioner to Ghana, the Honorable Member of Parliament, other members of Parliament, the District Chief Executive, the Chief Executive of the GIPC and the Ghana Export Promotion Authority. My very good friend, Mike Takwani, the board and members of management and staff of B5 Plus, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. We are today celebrating an event which is of strategic importance to the Ghanaian economy and to the nation as a whole for a number of reasons. First is import substitution. In this country, every year, we import over 4 billion Ghana cities worth of iron and steel products into our country. It is the second leading import in Ghana after automobiles and vehicles. And so any effort that seeks to promote import substitution and develop local productive capacity to replace the imports is worth celebrating. And that is why we'd like to join hands in congratulating the management and staff of this company. Secondly, is the potential for exports. And as Mike indicated, this company is already exporting to all the 16 ECOWAS countries. But it goes beyond that. With the headquarters of the African Continental Free Trade Area in Ghana now, and with the start of trading under after having commenced, I'm fully convinced that within the next year or two, B5 Plus will not be a household name only in West Africa, but throughout the continent of Africa. Thirdly, is the critical importance that still plays in industrial transformation. And the evidence is there. India, China, all the major industrialized countries are where they are primarily because of steel, aluminum, plastics, and other such products. And so we are very proud and pleased that B5 Plus and other steel companies in our country are providing the stimulus for our industrial transformation agenda. And as I'm sure most of you are aware, steel goes not only into automobile assembly, but in the production 
of household appliances and equipment in the construction industry, in the fabrication of bridges, power plants, and name them. And I'm very pleased that we have this opportunity now with the leadership of B5 Plus to rejuvenate the steel industry in our country. There is also the role that steel and iron plays in value addition for our country. We are all aware that Ghana is endowed with some of the highest quality iron ore in the world. Regrettably, over 100 years, we have not been able to add value to our iron ore deposits. Under the dynamic leadership of His Excellency the President, he has established a corporation, a statutory corporation, to guide the development of an integrated iron and ore industry. But the beauty of what is happening in Ghana is that even though we haven't started mining our iron ore, through the work that B5 Plus and other steel companies are doing, we've already started working on the downstream industries for steel, which means that once we start mining our iron ore, it will feed into the downstream industries, such as uh, B5 Plus. The evidence is also clear that steel and iron also provides high quality jobs for any economy. And I could go on and on, but I'm sure it's excellent the president will add to this. I make these remarks to demonstrate that this investment is worth celebrating. And I would like, on behalf of my ministry, my colleagues in other agencies that collaborate with my ministry, to assure uh, Mr. Takwani of the full support of the government in dealing with some of the challenges that he has alluded to. Uh, he mentioned the issue of energy, electricity, and water. Uh, even though my younger brother, uh, the member of parliament, um, had given an indication that these were still challenges. I think he himself must be aware, and Mr. Mukesh uh, would attest to this, that I personally brought the Minister of Energy here to ensure that the initial phase of the energy and electricity installation was done when we commissioned this, uh, when the saw cutting was done. There's more to do, and I want to assure Mukesh that we'll continue to support him. The same thing applies to water supply. He's aware that personally I've been working with the Ghana Water Company to ensure that water supply to this uh, facility is improved. We've started, there's more to be done. I want to assure you, on behalf of His Excellency the President, that we will not allow this investment to be handicapped by the supply of water and electricity. I think Mr. Mukesh also mentioned the issue of the congestion on the road, which is obvious to all of us, having traveled uh, on this road this morning. Again, most of you are aware that the expansion project of the Tema motorway will considerably reduce the traffic congestion on this road. So we are moving forward and there's progress. In terms of land litigation, I'm happy that the Honorable Member of Parliament addressed this. Um, first, we have to commend the traditional authorities for the initial support that uh, they've given to this company in the acquisition of the land. But I'm sure um, Nime and Name will continue to also ensure that this facility is not handicapped by land litigation. So, Mr. President, distinguished invited guests, I can only say that well done, and we hope to continue to support you. Thank you, and God bless you.
And we're also grateful to you, Honorable Alan Kujutremating, who is the Minister for Trade and Industry of the Republic of Ghana. Your Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, very shortly we'll be listening to the commissioning address. But before that, I would like to remind all of you that we have great support from industry collaborators here. Bringing us support from the Ghana Shippers Authority is the Chief Executive, Benonita Bismarck. Please put your hands together for her. Mr. Frank Ajekum is the Executive Secretary of the Ghana International Trade Commission. Shall we put our hands together? There's also strong support from the pharmaceutical industry and a major player, M&G Pharmaceuticals, are represented by Mr. Gopal Vasu. Thank you very much, sir. Bringing us a lot of love and support from the Malcolm Group is Mr. Ramesh Sadwani, who's the group, the Joint Group Managing Director. Also my good friend, Mr. Mahesh Matani, who's the Country Director of Hyundai Motors and Investments. Thank you very much, sir. Your Excellency, the Executive Chairman of the Magdan Group, Dr. Daniel McCauley, is also here to support us. And of course, bringing us massive support from the church is the founder of the World Miracle Outreach, Dr. Lawrence Tete. Before a king speaks, would have to pave the way with different forms of art. And here in Ghana, would like to do it with dance and music. And of course, to do that, I would like to welcome up here one of the finest cultural troops in the country. Before that as well, would like to say thank you to the regional chairman of the Ghana National Chamber of Commerce, Mr. Isaac Yusuf Barry. Thank you very much for being here with us. And now ladies and gentlemen, with a big round of applause, please help me welcome the Juta Dance Theater.
Thank you. A classic masterpiece of Ghanaian cultural art. Shall we once again say a big thank you and applause to the Juta Dance Group. Your Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good people of Ghana, once again, would like to say a very big thank you to everybody from all sectors who are ably represented here. I'd like to also say thank you to the likes of Mrs. Mansanetti, who is the MD of Standard Chartered Bank, Mr. Ashok Mohinani of the Mohinani Group, Mr. Amar Deep Singh Hari of IPMC, and also a former Deputy Minister of Trade and Industry who was part of the start of this project here on this ground. We say thank you to all of them, and for that matter, all of you for being a part of this historic day. We've arrived at a high point in this celebration of hard work the Ghanaian way. And who else is it to stand here and address us and get us ready for a symbolic moment? Now, the first gentleman of the land who has, through his government, introduced the One District, One Factory initiative. With a very big round of applause and with much love, please help me welcome His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Ghana, Nana Adodankwa Ekufuado. Greater Accra Regional Minister, Minister for Trade and Industry, the Member of Parliament for Ningo Pram Pram, Chairperson, Management, Staff and Workers of B5 Plus Limited, Chief Executive Officer of the Ghana Investment Promotion Center, the Chief Executive Officer of the Ghana Export Promotion Authority, and the Chief Executive Officer of the Ghana Standards Authority. The Greater Accra Regional President of the Association of Ghana Industries, Indian High Commissioner to Ghana, the Acting President of the Ningo Traditional Council, Nime Name, Residents of La Bleku, fellow Ghanaians, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very happy to be here this morning to join you to commission phase one, B5 plus steel plant, an enterprise operating under government's one district, one factory initiative. This plant is a concrete manifestation that the new paradigm of economic development, which this administration has been vigorously pursuing since 2017 of insisting on value addition industrial activities within a conducive and business friendly environment is making headway. Ladies and gentlemen, every year some 350,000 students graduate from our tertiary institutions across the country and join the labor market in search of jobs. This number is in addition to the thousands and thousands of apprentices and other non-graduates also in the search for employment. I came into office in 2017 with a clear appreciation of the fact that unless we industrialize with the goal of adding value to our primary products, we cannot create the necessary numbers of high paying jobs that will address this grave problem of unemployment, as well as enhance the living standards of the mass of our people. That is why government took steps to roll out the 1D1F initiative. The 76 factories operating under this initiative have so far employed some 139,000 people who hitherto would have been at home twiddling their thumbs with no hope in sight. When all 1D1F one projects come on stream, we expect some 258,000, 85,000 
Morganans to get direct jobs. Clearly, this policy has the potential to absorb many more young graduates into well-paying, sustainable jobs within their district, municipal, or metropolitan areas. What we're witnessing here today in Lakbliku is a true reflection of the benefits of the 1D1F policy. That is the creation of thousands of direct and indirect jobs and the expansion of value addition activities in the country. It is gratifying to note that the companies converting scrap metal gathered from across the country into building materials which is feeding the construction industries in Ghana and the ECOWAS in region. Government's agenda of import substitution, export diversification, and the industrial transformation agenda is being supported significantly by B5 Plus Limited. I want to reiterate government's continued commitment to providing strategic support to companies and enterprises operating in Ghana. We will continue to enhance the existing incentive framework designed to make 1D1F designated companies more competitive and sustainable. The incentives which include tax holidays, import duty waivers, and interest rate subsidies are designed to help build the capacities and competitiveness of these enterprises and to position them for greater productivity and efficiency. And in so saying, I reiterate my support for the assurances given by the Minister for Trade and Industry as far as security to title, to land, and the reliable provision of utilities are concerned, so that the, that the barriers to greater productivity, which have been identified by both the pro promoter of this enterprise and the Member of Parliament for Ningu Pran Prem, can be systematically dismantled, and the full enjoyment of these incentives can be guaranteed. When that is done, I will leave the future political career of the Member of Parliament in the responsible hands of the good people of Ningu Pram Pram. I encourage the proprietors and management of B Plus Limited to take further advantage of these various incentives and establish similar industrial enterprises in other parts of the country. I commend the founder and chairman, Mr. Mukesh Takwani, management, staff, and workers of B5 Plus Limited for establishing this state-of-the-art plant in Lakuliku, which is capable of competing in the global market, especially at the time the trading has commenced under the African Continental Free Trade Area Agreement. Accordingly, ladies and gentlemen, the Acting President of the Ningo Traditional Council, Nime Name, I declare Phase 1 of the B5 Plus Steel Plant duly commissioned. May God bless us all in our homeland, Ghana, and make her great and strong. I thank you for your attention.